going to go ahead and plug in the USB cable here. We get our green power light. And using the software, we'll go ahead and do a read. Tell it the location. Uh, we'll name this one Easy. Save it and press execute. There we go. Now it's doing a nice read. You have to forgive this, I'm holding it up by hand. Now this is on a Xenon system, so this is a 16 meg uh, NAND that we're dumping. The nice thing about this GUI is you could simply click uh, USB as your interface. You select which mod motherboard you're doing, so it'll automatically bring the information. And you see here I selected uh, read NAND only. It's uh, just about finished here with the first dump. The software will go ahead and do two dumps and compare them. First dump is completed and now it's starting the second one. see here my log file Now this software will actually do three dumps, but if you get two that are consecutive, it'll stop there at the number two dump. So there's no need to go into a third since you got two good ones. Now I have yet to get a bad dump using the NAND flasher, and this is about the fifth or sixth console that I've tested it on today. The only bad thing about this GUI is it doesn't continue to show you the progress of the second dump. There we go. It's all done. You can see here, it says two read cycles completed, comparing, in and out, zero non-match blocks found, reads match. It's all done. It's pretty quick, not bad.